Hello, and welcome to episode nine, right? Nine? I don't know. I guess. I think it's nine. Yes, episode nine of Steampocalypse Season 5 Strategy Discussion. Today we're actually at a table. We're at the square table today. We decided to use the, uh, the selfie stick of, of Phillips here and set the table and uh, do our discussion. So we're actually getting ready to leave um, Texas here and head back home to Arkansas. Um, but uh, since we had a big thing happen yesterday on Steampocalypse, we thought we'd sit down with them again because their butts... Their, their decisions the last butts? time the saved, butts? their butts saved our butts, basically. <laughs> <laughs> their butts saved our butts, so they uh, they gave us the winning idea of, of what what got us through, so um, we thought, well, we better we better pick their brains again and see and, and, and that. So, um, so for those who don't know, everybody who chose option one and decided to go over the fence, they survived. Everyone else, everyone that chose to go left, go right, I wonder if that's backwards on this, left, right, right, left, this is my left. Um, just left, left, <laughs> left, right, and the ones who turned to greet them, and the ones who decided to shoot, they all died. They all, they all got ate by the. There was hunters that had missed the deer, and they thought, well, we're gonna get a meal one way or another out of this. So they got, they, they killed everybody else. So there's only 14 of us that are left now, and we're two of the 14. So um, we're not gonna go through the entire list because I mean, there's like 70 people that that died. But I do want to say, uh, do pay a special tribute to Keep Doodling and a simple writer. We're sorry to see you guys go. Uh, Keep Doodling, I did like your little um, doodle that you put on the post uh, for this round here. So with the with the flyers in the clouds, that was pretty cool. So um, we're sorry to see you guys go. We'll, we'll look forward to playing with you guys in Season 6, though. So just stay tuned. Okay, so go ahead and read what our options are for... Just the options? Um, go ahead and read the scenario. Yeah, read the scenario and then the options. Just like that, we are down to only 15 players, assuming that all 15 actually didn't make it this far. Um, as as our players continue, they are glad to be alive. Eli. Some have some have backup food supplies, while others don't. But it's time to be on the lookout again to avoid starvation for many of our players. As they continue on through the woods, they soon hear a strange low roaring. Curious and cautious, they proceed. Soon the woods open up to a long expanse of sand with the ocean at the far end of it. This may be good news. I know that life's no beach, but sometimes survival can be easier with a large body of water nearby. A few good options exist for trying to find something edible here, so let's see what they are. Option 1. Try to look out in the waves and open sea for something edible. Option 2. Try to look on the beach for something edible. Option 3. Try to dig in the sand for something edible. And option four, try to look in the rocks on the edge of the water for something edible. Okay, so go out in the ocean, or, or look out in the ocean for something. Um, look look on the beach for something, dig in the sand for something, or try to look in the rocks for something. Um, I will say, the last time I tried digging for something, I dug in the dirt and I come up and be handed. So I'm not going to dig in the sand this time, I know that for sure. Um, now, he did say that everyone who hopped the fence is all, you know, bloody and, and cut up. Their wounds aren't that bad, but they're still cut up. So, going out in, out in the waves, I mean, you're going to be swimming in salt water. It's the ocean. There could be sharks out there, you know. Here in southeast Texas, there have been scares of flesh-eating bacteria in the Gulf. Ooh. Ooh. That wouldn't be good in a wound, that's you know, for sure. There is one thing I, I thought of, that if you were to look in the ocean, you would see Oh, is it good for infection? It's also it's good nutrition. It's also yeah. good nutrition. Yeah. So, I know in Galveston, which is 45 miles south of us, there's seaweed everywhere. Is it close to the rocks, though? Yeah. It's on the beach. Oh! So the beach could be a good option. Then you can find seaweed down the beach. the beach. Because it says try to look on the beach. I didn't even see that option earlier when I looked at it. So oh, that's that, is, that is good. So I mean, looking in the rocks would be a good option for finding you know, little crabs and food, stuff like that. But you take the possibility of slipping, waves right. crashing in the rocks, watching you down. But you know what hides in the rocks? Crabs. Crabs. Crabs are edible. Although in real life we won't eat crabs. They're they're not considered kosher, and we eat kosher. Um, but in a game like this, it doesn't really matter. We're not actually really eating it. So it's also cool. So. See, for those that, that aren't 
starving that need that don't need food because I know I'm good for a couple days. I just got the can of beans, so I will I will eat my beans and I will be good for for two days uh, two days in the game. Um. So I'm good for for a few days. So I would need the CV for the infection. Just if there's an infection. See, Papa Pepper left a comment on our last video thing and said something along the lines of, hopefully they will get infected. It's like, wait, why would you want us to get infected? You know, it's like, you, you could die from infection if it's left untreated, you know, so... Um, it's, it makes sense that there's going to be... Hmm? What was about the oh, he got a plant. There was one of the, the old videos. The old man, yeah. Well, one, of the, one of the old ones, they are one of the other options on days they... They, and he ended up with a plant, and we'll put sure clover, but let me see if I can find it. Show. I, have to, I still have to go pull the picture up and Google it and see what it comes up with. Is it still valid for this? Yeah, because it yeah, says knowledge of the it. plant. So he did say, you know, learn what this plant is. And that's the one thing I will say about Papa Pepper, is he will take stuff from his other posts, other than each post, like his, his Wild Man series. He will take information from that and use it in the Steampocalypse. So he's been at South Padre Island, and he posted a lot of stuff about crabs. And I went back through and I read every one of the posts. And all the pictures and stuff, the crabs are in near rocks, or they're in the shallows of the water. So um, my guess would be that, based on that information from his other posts, that if you choose number four, the rocks option, you're going to find some crabs or, or whatever that you can, something you can eat. Now, I do like your guys' idea of the, the seaweed on the shore for both being able to eat, plus something from medicinal if we do get an infection. But if we don't have knowledge of how to use that seaweed, then I don't know if that's beneficial or not, but oh, don't the camera there. Well, I mean, it does have a fish device, so eating it would, would also help. But I think just applying it topically to a wound. Yeah. You don't have to really do anything with it. You just apply it to the wound and keep it covered because okay. it keeps the wound, you know, clean and there's uh, properties okay. in the seaweed that, that helps it heal. Well, plus if the seaweed was in the water, it's going to have the salt water on it, mm -hmm. which will also help. Okay. Okay. Or if you can find seaweed in amongst the rocks, too. Maybe maybe this would be one of those ones like, hey, well, most, of the, top, most of the seaweed we've like seen over. was actually... Uh, it was actually in close to the rocks, but it wasn't on the rocks because the, the beach is made of sand and then partially rocks. And all the seaweed would get caught at the edge of the beach. The water would rush up on the beach and would come back out and we'll leave the seaweed land on the sand. Okay. She's going to go get, um, she has something that she's going to go get for us. She's going to show us. But what is the noise? The roaring is the roaring of the ocean. The ocean. It's the roaring of the ocean. I like, I think that for me, I, that I would look at the beach. Look on so, the beach. this could be one of those scenarios where, okay, if you look on the beach, you find seaweed. You can eat it and, or use it for medicinal purposes. And it could be then, like, option four, looking in the rocks, could be like a double one. Like, you're going to find seaweed and you're going to find crabs. So, you get to eat and use the seaweed for so medicinal purposes. you could find seaweed in the rocks? Um, I think you could, yes. But I, I think it would not be as common. It would not be as common in the rocks as it would be along the beach. So what is that that you have there? This is um, type of chloride. You can eat it, and you can use it for cleansing. Let's see if I can do this. She just went and picked that out of her yard there. That looks like the plant. Yeah. It's wet, hoping the dog didn't pee on it. <laughs> That's good. That's sweet. That's really good, actually. Did you just eat it? I did. <laughs> I what? washed it. It's fine. As I said, it's wet, hoping the dog didn't pee on it. <laughs> what? It's, it's edible. It's really, that is really good. That's what horses like. I love horses. Mm -hmm. Yep, that looks like it. Sure does. So, 
Yummy. That's good. Yummy. That's good. Yummy. That's good. So I have knowledge of that. So if you just think seaweed is good for the same thing, you might be better to choose the look on the beach option to get seaweed. Whereas I have knowledge of the clover, you don't. I might be able to. Of course, I might maybe I don't I'll have find the clover. So even if I he he gave me it to eat. So I don't have the plant, but I have knowledge of the plant now. So maybe I would find the plant. You would find the clover in the rocks on the beach, no, right? You would find no. You, you would find, find on the clover. edge of the beach. You would not find the clover anywhere near. Anywhere near the beach. Okay, so the clover, clover is not an option. It's but more of a grass. You, but if you do have, if you do get an infection and you have the knowledge of the clover and how to use it, you could go. You back probably to would the have the found center. it near the barbed wire fence. So. Okay. Yeah, you can Okay. So, so I do have that advantage. So you think you're gonna search on the beach? I think I'm gonna search on the beach. I didn't even realize that, that was an option, and I agree that the seaweed would be my best option for any kind of infection or anything. Okay. Maybe by chance I might find a fish on the beach bed or something. I don't know. You wouldn't want to eat it. I'm man. just saying. I might find something to eat on the on the beach, but I'm more looking for the to clean. My wounds. But the only reason you're thinking about that is because of his comment that he left. No, I would have thought about that anyway. Oh, that's true, because I did. You scraped and yeah, you scraped and your wounds aren't that bad. But that was the first thing I thought. I was like, oh man, we're going to be all bloodied up and get an infection running through the woods. That's the first yeah, thing I thought of. You know, you're sweaty and, and whatever, and so you're, and you're dirty. You probably haven't had a shower in days. And I would think, too, if you search on the rocks, you're, the rocks are near the edge of the water. You could take salt water and scoop it up and wash your wounds with it. Too. So, the only if you, thing with salt digging, water is, yeah, but that, that, yeah. The only thing with salt water too is that you can get dehydrated. We have water purification tablets. Okay, but you, it's still, it's still not dehydrated. Which are you spin out too? Yep. Salt. Hmm. We'll just restrict how much salt water we get on that. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> don't. Don't go swimming in the ocean. You're going to end up dead. Don't <laughs> drink the water. Don't drink the water. Option, it says go look out in the it ocean. It says look out. out. My guess would be, my guess would be, the no, seaweed would float. The yeah. seaweed would, would be floating in the water. So if you got to go out to it, though, you have to go wading out into the water to get it. So you're going to get more of it than if you're just scooping you it up. Yeah. Maybe. But you don't know what scenario he's presenting. He might say, you know, you, know, you look out and, and 50 yards out you saw something and he swam out to it. And a great white ate you, or, or a tiger shark, or a lemon shark, or something, you know, because because your wounds are bleeding, you know, and a shark got you. I mean, I could, I could see doing that. Of course, that would make a great, yeah, that'd make a great meme um, or a picture if Keep Doodling was still in it. If there was an option where somebody got ate by a shark, having his little white fluffy guy in the in the jaws of a great white or something, that would that would make a pretty cool little. So. I'm getting in the water. I'm, I'm choosing that option. You go on the, I think I'll choose the rocks. But I mean, we're both in it now, and it doesn't, you know, neither, all four of these scenarios don't seem like something that can get you killed. I mean, swimming in the ocean could, you know, get you killed. Especially if you're bleeding. Especially if you're bleeding. But the other three, you know, digging in the sand seems like that's serious to come up empty handed, like when I dug in the dirt, when she had the option to move the board. You know, what did, you got the bugs when you moved the board. I got roaches. Um, I got nothing. So it's like, I'm, I'm not. Uh, fed me. Yeah, you ate them? <laughs> well, now I will say that you know, trying to get in the rocks and look for something in the rocks is dangerous. There's a chance you're going to slip because rocks are going to be wet, even if you just spray it's off of the ocean. Huh? Won't that be slimy too? Yeah. Oh, it could be. From the, the yeah, they'll have moss growing, yeah. different things growing on them. They'll be wet. So there's a possibility you that slip. you could slip and, and fall and die or be sucked out in a riptide or something. Oh, believe me, I know that. I almost I got sucked out in a riptide in uh, I at South Pudge Dry Island when I was 15 years old. Thought I was going to die. I I didn't, thankfully, but yeah, I was, you know, one moment I was standing in water that was knee deep and the waves were crashing at my chest. And the next thing I know, boom, I got sucked out and I'm facing the shore swimming for dear life. And I kept looking at people down down the beach that were in my group and I'm trying to gauge whether or not I'm making it into shore or not and I wasn't gaining any ground um, but long story short I'm here today so obviously I live but I'm probably never going to go back to South Pedro Island because they tried to kill me once I'm not going to give it a second chance <laughs> <laughs>
And I got a horrible sunburn that day too, so. Um, yeah, there, I mean, there is a risk of slipping on the rocks. Um, I think it's a calculated risk though, to be honest. You know, I grew up on the Great Lakes and we had, you know, same thing, you know, moss covered rocks that were slippery. So if you, if you walk on a little, you can usually, you know, try to you know, be cautious as you're, as you're stepping down, not put too much weight on an unsure surface. So, so you go option two? Search on the beach. Yeah, I'm gonna search the beach. Uh, I think I'll go with option four then. Yeah, we we don't want to both choose the same option, being being you know so few people now, and then take the chance of both of us you know, happen to pick the option that somebody gets eliminated and we're both out of the game. We want to better our options of uh, you know one of us surviving to the end. So she'll go with option two this round. Of course, last time, if, last round, if we'd done that, one of us would be dead. But it seemed like you know from what like what you guys said that. All the other options seemed like they were going to lead to sure death, and they. Well, I mean, if she just searches on the beach and she doesn't find anything to eat, well, like she said, she doesn't. She's okay. She doesn't actually need food. To right. Eat. And so that's not going to actually kill her. Right. There's nothing in the sand that's going to kill her. She might get some sand fleas, <laughs> but that's about it. So. Yeah, but if I find the seaweed, then I mean that was that was my thing with with searching the beach is that it's going to be dirty. You got. Digging in the sand, especially. Yeah, digging in the sand. Just walking on the beach looking for something not so bad, but digging um, in the sand. So, option four, try to look on the rocks, has 10 replies. Um, option three, to dig in the sand, has two. And to try to look on the beach for something edible, has one. But option one has zero? And option one has zero. So, I think we're the only ones left. Well, there's all not all those replies because I keep doodling commented on something of somebody else's. So, right, right. and that guy, the air last okay. guy, he's out actually. I've never screwed up on the list, but that's okay. We got close to 300 people playing the game. It's hard to keep track of everybody. That's why he's got people helping him. So again, thank you to Nova Eight Batman for helping out with the uh, with uh, the spreadsheet and helping Papa Pepper keep track of this game. Some people have replied so far that are in. Most of them chose option four to look in the rocks. Okay. So, if you're hungry, you need to find something to eat. And the yeah. most common place on the beach to find something that you could eat, especially if you don't have a fishing pole to catch a fish, then you would need to find something that you can grab with your hands. Here's something else I didn't think about. A crab, you wouldn't want to eat it raw, right? Correct. You can. You can, but you wouldn't want to. Um, because neither one of us have fire starters. There are people there that have fire starters that could start a fire to cook their food. You can eat oysters raw. I mean... Could make you sick of it. You can eat fish raw. Right. But how, how, how successful do you think you can be at catching a fish with the her hands? No uh, that's, that's why you'd have to look at seaweed. Seaweed would be the most common thing you could find. Well, yeah, because you can eat it. Yeah. You can. Even if I did get seaweed, I could still eat it, and I could use it for medical. Mm -hmm. If I mean, you don't have a net or a fishing pole, it's going to be hard. Well, I have a pistol with 11 rounds of ammo, so. If we can shoot fish. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen videos of people shooting glocks underwater. The buildings don't go that far, and they don't have very much velocity, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd kill a fish. Okay. Yeah, I'm sticking with beach. So she's gonna search the beach. I'm gonna search the rocks. We'll see what happens. So is that it then? Good luck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's it for us, guys. We're gonna be uh, hitting the road here in a little bit. Head back to Arkansas. It's about a 10-hour drive from here. Um, so we'll hopefully have the results from today's scenario by the time we get home. Who knows? We might get another video out today. We might shoot one from inside the van after the results come out. So two videos in one day, maybe. That'd be cool. Um, thank you for tuning in and watching. And if you're still in the game and you're playing and you're watching these, hopefully uh, these videos help you out. And thank you again to Philip and Gina for sitting down with us. We appreciate it. Thank you for your advice last time. That, that saved our butts. So, so we'll see you guys next time.